Miss Lummis? Miss Canwell? No. The no's are 18, the yeses are 9. The amendment is not agreed to. Are there further amendments? Madam Chairman? Yes, Senator I'd Blackburn. Like, I'd like to call up Blackburn Amendment 3. And as we call it up, I want to thank Ranking Member Cruz for joining me in this amendment. As you know, FTC Commissioner Wilson will be leaving the agency in the near future. And since Commissioner Phillips has already departed the agency, this is going to leave the FTC with three Democrat commissioners and no Republican members. And this is of tremendous concern to me because this agency is supposed to be independent and as directed by Congress to be comprised of both majority and minority commissioners. It is especially concerning because the FTC under Chairman Khan has a habit of basically going rogue. They're trying to expand their mission. They are trying to move into areas where we do not believe they have the congressional authority. And they're trying to do this, and she is trying to do whatever she wants, despite the authority that we have given her. And despite what members of Congress, despite what the courts might say in response to her actions, and having a range of views on the commission ensures appropriate checks and balances on the important issues that this agency considers. So I appreciate your willingness, as well as Senator Grassley's, to engage with me on this bill. I am not comfortable moving this legislation forward without also adding procedural safeguards to prevent the agency from doing what it did in the 1970s. We need to see some restraint at that agency. Senator Cruz has addressed that in his remarks already this morning. Now, in the 70s, Congress stepped in and took steps to rein the agency back in and to cut back its authority because of the regulatory overreach that they were exercising. So I would ask my colleagues to join me in voting for this amendment to make sure the FTC keeps the interest of all Americans, not just the governing party in mind. Thank you, Senator Blackburn, and I, I do expect at some point in time this committee will have a very robust discussion about the FTC and a variety of issues in which we want to see action on and what, we, what everyone here on the committee believes their role should or shouldn't be. But the resignation of Commissioners Phillips and Wilson will mean the Commission has no Republicans. I look forward to future nominees serving. But their choice to leave should not make the agency powerless to act, particularly against egregious fraud. This amendment would do just that. This amendment would, would make it possible for commissioners of either party to game the system by simply recusing themselves to delay or prevent votes. This would be an end of a good faith at the FTC, which none of us want. Recently, the FTC took action to prevent child sexual exploitation on a well-known gaming platform. This is exactly the kind of work American consumers are relying on at the FTC, and at the very least, this amendment would have delay of action on these very serious issues. I urge my colleagues to oppose the amendment. Senator Klobuchar. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Any further discussion? If not, clerk will call the roll. <laughs> Ms. Klobuchar? No. no. Mr. Schatz? No. Mr. Markey? No. Mr. Peters? No. Ms. Baldwin? No. Ms. Duckworth? No. Mr. Tester? No. Ms. Cinema? No. Ms. Rosen? No. Mr. Lujan? No. Mr. Hickenlooper? Mr. Warnock? No. Mr. Welch? No. Mr. Cruz? No. Mr. Thune? No. Mr. Wicker? No. Mrs. Fisher? No. Mr. Moran? No. Mr. Sullivan? No. Mrs. Blackburn? No. Mr. Young? 
Mr. Budd, Mr. Schmidt, Mr. Vance, Mrs. Capito, Ms. Lummis, Ms. Cantwell, the no's are 14, the yeses are 13. The amendment is not agreed to. Is there further discussion on the bill as